was compulsory viewing for millions of young people, featuring all the top stars and bands of the day. But the Beatles only appeared live on Top of the Pops once, and that was in 1966, and the recording of that show was lost. Well, now more than half a century later, a short clip has been found, as our entertainment correspondent Colin Patterson tells us. Back in 1966, videotape was so expensive that even the Beatles' only live Top of the Pops appearance was wiped, thought lost forever, until now. The Fab Four, a fab find, 11 seconds of paperback writer unearthed in Mexico. D2, D3. Kaleidoscope specialise in tracking down missing TV. A Mexican Beatles fan got in touch after buying an 8mm film reel shot at home by a Liverpudlian family. I think if you're a Beatles fan, it's a holy grail. There's no doubt about that. The Beatles only did Top the Pops once live in June 1966, and people just thought it was gone. At the Beatles story exhibition, we showed the find to an expert. Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> How important a discovery is this? Well, we already have loads and loads of kind of um, audiovisual artifacts, more or less, that we can study. The idea that there's more out there is absolutely, it's amazing, really. And it's not just Beatles footage which has been rediscovered. More than 240 lost Top of the Pops performances, saved thanks to a fan of the show who recorded them at home. This is Charles Henry Butler Pierce in Bangor, North Wales, September 1976. Hello, Mr. Chairman. The new discoveries, including T-Rex performing Metal Guru, will be featured later this month at the BFI South Bank's Music Believed White event. Colin Patterson, BBC News. Quick reminder that Newsnet's on to uh, with Emily tonight here on BBC One. It's time for the news where you are.